for me, um, putting clients at the forefront uh, creates a strong foundation for a fiduciary culture. And at Schwab, we use the phrase looking at the business through clients' eyes. And you know, I feel if every decision is made through the client's eyes and what is best for the client, you'll create a great foundation for a fiduciary culture. I remember when I, I joined Schwab um, and I met with Chuck Schwab and I had just come on board and I was asking him, you know, what are you looking for for me to do? Um, what do you view as success um, in the next couple of years? And I would have expected an answer like double your assets, double revenues, one of those kind of financial responses. And his response was run an ethical firm and do what's right for the client. If you do that, success will follow. And you know, I actually thought that that was quite special. Um, and uh, it is a way that the firm runs itself, um, really putting the client first. And if we do what's right for clients, um, there's a view that assets will come our way and success will follow. You know, if you go back 75 years, um, the people who could invest were the people who were well healed, um, had the means, um, and really investing was not so available to the broad, um, the broad population. And by creating this structure and creating rules around it, um, I think it created a, a, a trusted environment where people could broadly invest. And to me, it led to the democratiz democratization of investing. You know, now we have about 90 million people who own mutual funds. I mean, it's, it's a huge, everyone can own a mutual fund. That advisors act and um, the fiduciary standard that that created allowed for creating a, a, an environment that was a trusted um, structure that allowed people to more broadly invest um, and really transform the landscape of investing. I think that impact is huge on the economy because um, with that growth of that industry, it allows companies uh, to finance themselves through the stocks and bonds that those mutual funds invest in. And that has stimulated huge growth in, in the U.S. and um, really, I think, has created a U.S. economy that and capital markets that's incredibly vibrant. I think a lot of countries around the world will love to have the kind of capital market structure, um, the kind of investing structure that, that we have here in the U.S., and I do believe it all started with the 40 Act 75 years ago.